Hello, my kings and queens. This is June the, what is the day? No, I'm, yeah, I relate. June the 25th on Friday. I am doing a collect, not a collective, not yet. I am doing a um, humanity reading. Um, and what I mean by humanity reading, this is a, uh, I'm reading for everyone that is on this planet, that is on this blue planet. Um, I do these every day, but except on Sundays. Um, I normally go live on my Instagram, but uh, spirits told me to do it on the YouTube channel now. So, um, this is not a gender specific reading. This is not a personal reading. Um, please do not compare me to other, uh, awesome, incredible tarot readers. Um, I am me. My awakening is different than others. My style is different than others. I am more down to earth, my kings and queens. I am more, you know, I'm still on my journey. I'm on this journey with you, you know, so that's just plain and simple. So I'm awakening and ascending just like you as well. So these gifts that I have, you also have as well, my kings and queens. Don't forget that. We were born, we were born with these gifts, but we were told to suppress them and we were taught how to suppress them. All right, um, I do have a store where you can purchase any kind of crystals, stones, gems, um, whatever is your preference. Uh, I have, it's also clothes, it's also um, different healing candles that I actually make with these two hands, just being honest. They are organic, every um, aromatherapy smell that I use is organic as well. Um, sage is available, white sage, red sage, uh, sage and jasper, um, um, cedar, um, all of that is available on my website at Collective World, um, of Healing Candles and More com. So, without further ado, let's jump right on in here, you know, and, um, the candle, I mean, the incense that I, I have also have incense on there as well. I have sapphire, I have ruby, um, all of them is a preference and all of them are for something specific. I have some for wisdom, I have some for um, power, I have some for strength. Um, this one and I have zo different zodiac signs, uh, incense as well. This one that I am, I am, uh, got fired up right now is uh, Libra, of course, that's who I am. And this is Jasmine, Libra is Jasmine, so... All right. All right. Thank you, 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 thank you so much. Thank you so much. All right, y'all. We're going to start with the singing bowl. This singing bowl right here is in the tone A. It is for your third eye chakra. And only thing I need you to do is breathe in five, hold five, and let go five. That's all, my kings and queens. Just want you to clear your area, clear your space, so you can be free and be calm and, you know, set your intentions for the rest of your day. Love you guys. One more thing. I love you. I am so happy that you took time out of your day just to come here and see me. Hi. <laughs> I say have a more work at close. Sorry, y'all. Yes, I still have on my workout clothes. Um, because I am late doing this, so excuse the clothes. I do have on my britches, my sweatpants, so excuse the clothes, y'all. Excuse the clothes. And um, I'm just so happy that you just is getting through this. You got no, not getting through. You got through this week. You hear me? And I'm happy you are getting out of your comfort zone. I'm happy you are conquering those fears that I told you about. I'm happy that you are doing those stretches that I told you before you jump out of bed every morning. You know what I'm saying? Thank you. Thank you for the energy and the frequency that you bring to this planet. That helps complete us and makes all of us whole. Thank you so much. Love, love. Oh, so much love. So much peace. So much positive energy coming your way, coming from me. Thank you so much. Now, let's go.
Did you feel it? Did you feel it, baby? Did you feel it? Sorry, y'all. Lately, when I start doing a, a reading, um, I get parched very often. Sorry. <laughs> Heard me, my swallows. Okay, so we are going to start out with Moonology. These are the Moonology cards. We are going to put one of these. Y'all already know me. I have already meditated on the cards. I have already saged because I sage my house every day. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And myself. So, oh yeah. Um, we are going to spray some of our empath, psychic protection, um... A cord cutting mist. Some for you guys. Oh, that smells so freaking awesome. And that is also available. And it's a couple of things I haven't put on the site yet. Like this aura mist. Um, heart and spirit and uplifting mist to brighten the spirit and open the heart to compassion and healing. Also have these available, guys. But I haven't. Whew. But I haven't put it on there. Some for you guys. Yes, yes, yes. So, let's start out with the Moonology card. Ooh. Okay, we almost, we almost fell. Start out with the Moonology card. Thank you, spirits. Thank you, spirit guys. Thank you, guardian angels. Thank you, divine light. Thank you, divine angels. spirit. Thank you, archangels. Thank you, goddess Sophia. Thank you, Sophia. I haven't tried. Thank you, Arthur. Thank you, Isis. Thank you, Mary. Thank you so much. Any messages you want us to know that got to do with this past super moon that we just had? Did y'all see my video? Huh? Did you see my video? Like, if you have not seen my video to the, um, uh-oh, we got Virgo again. A time to give rather than take. No moon in Virgo. No moon in Virgo. Can y'all see that? And we have nothing is yet set in stone. And we have this one before, too. M mute, mutable moons. <laughs> yes. Nothing is set in stone, baby. You write your own ending. This is your, this, this is your journey, baby. Can't nobody take your journey from you. You can't take what's meant for me, baby. You, know what I'm, you, you dig what I'm saying? So we are going to go with a, yeah, a time... To give rather than to take. Rather than take. New moon in Virgo. So we're going to look for new moon in Virgo in the book. Let's check out the meaning. Okay, that's that one. Okay, that's the one. Okay, new moon in Virgo. That's full of money. New moon. Oh, there we go. No moon in Virgo. A tune with the moon. Recommit to healthy mornings and evening routines. Okay, I got you. Because I just started that. I just actually started this. Like, all my life, I've never been on a schedule. I've never put, like, did a list. I've never did a to-do list. I've never did, I've never did none of that. Like, a check-off list. Like, but I did now. And it's, like, really helping out, like... If you follow me on Instagram, you know that I did one now because I have two different calendars. <laughs> one's personal, one's for like social media, me posting and doing things like this for my awesome kings and queens. For us on this awesome blue planet that we are here to take care of. This is not a time to be um, shy about what you are actually here to do for this planet. Just saying. I don't know. That just came out of nowhere. Spirit said, tell him. I told you. So, All right. Additional meanings for this card. Grandual improvements are coming. Pay attention to detail if you want success. Without being predicted. Yeah. Okay. Be of service to others. 
and love and money will flow. The person you're asking about is reliable. So if you've been asking about a person, they're reliable. If you've been trying to think if this person you just met or probably your spouse or your husband or your wife, you know, kings and queens, everyone, every, you know, boss, owner, job, whatever, whatever the case may be. Like all of us have different situations. All of us have different, you know, things going on in all of our lives. But that's what that is. And you need to start giving to others instead of taking. Like, if people know me, like, it feels so freaking good when you give in to other people. Like, it, like, it's crazy. It's a crazy feeling, but it feels good. Okay. Virgo is a sign of health, service, and analysis. Its energy is precise and has a feel of a harvest about it. When this card comes up, yeah, when this card comes up, it could be that you are wonderful bounty is coming your way. However, the energy of the new moon in Virgo is usually about getting your life in order. I am. I like, like that's what I'm doing. So that's, so that's what you need to, to do at this time of the Virgo new moon. And when and whenever else you pull this card. Yeah, and whenever, yeah, when whenever else you pull this card. You pulled this card. Come on, turn to the next page, baby. Okay, that's it. That was it. <laughs> All right. I heard it got him sick. Okay, we got nothing is yet set in stone. All right. I know that the best will unfold for me. Additional meanings for this card. You're mendaring towards your goal. And that's okay. Staying adaptable is the key to success for you now. Make sure you're not being led astray. Have you become distracted? Time to focus. Stay with it. Whatever it means to you. Stay with that passion. Stay with that hobby. I've been telling you to bring on that into the world. It's your time, baby. It's your time. What you waiting on? Huh? What you waiting on? Why are you steady procrastinating? It's your time. I told you. Can't nobody take what's meant for you, baby. Only person that's going to take it is you. You're going to let it go over your head like, bam. Let's get it, baby. It's your turn, my kings and queens. Yes, it's ours. Like, it's ours. It's yours. It's yours. Yes. All right, the teaching. In astrology, there are three so-called quadruple, quadruplices. Cardinal, fixed, and marchable, which is this one. The multiple signs are Gemini, Sagittarius, Virgo, and Pisces. And when the moon is in one of these signs, you know there's, there's going to be more flexibility in situations. Anytime you pull this card, it suggests, it suggests there's an opportunity to keep visualizing and affirming what you want as there's still room for change. So think about what you want and enjoy the daydream. I'm always like drinking. Like, I'm always like, I just seen off into nowhere real fast. Real fast. So, that is our Moonology cards for today. Okay, so we are going to go with our precious gem. We are going to pull our stone of the day. Thank you so much. Any messages you want us to know? Oh, a stone you want us to have on this awesome day. 
the stone. You want us to have one of these awesome day spirits. Thank you so much. I'm so grateful. Okay, okay. They gave us three. Okay. So, the first one is... We had... Yeah, we had her. Dalmatian stone, inner child. That means... Like, y'all, we were not put on this planet to suffer. We were not put on this planet to be in anguish or depression or anxiety or anything of that nature. You are always supposed to be a child. You're supposed to be a child all the time. All the time. Look, 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 look at that. She is beautiful. Look at that going. Look at that going. Look at that. Beautiful color. Beautiful, beautiful. Look at that. Look at that. She's beautiful. Look at those eyes. Yes, indeed. We have Garnet Passion. Yes, indeed. And we have... We got her again. I'm sorry, I was mesmerized. I'm just looking at the detail of the cards, you guys. Um, Malahat. Malahat. And it means transformation. So we're going to jump right in. And we're going to go with, okay, that's number 19. Uh, Dalmatian is number 10. And Garnet is number 14. So, we are going with the number 10 first. That is Dalmatian Stone. Okay. This card is, pra is practically meaningful to those who need to trust and have faith again. Dalmatian stone is grounding. It steers us away from disillusionment while helping us relax and see the fun side of things. I have these stones also available. I just haven't posted them on the site, y'all. Like, I have so many stones. <sighs> I'm going to get there, y'all. I'm going to get there. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Hold up. Hold up, Donna. Hold up, Donna. Okay. Um, a return to simplicity. Life can be joyous. Invest in happiness. Trust your abilities to bring love and meaning to a situation. A bond is strengthened through laughter and play. Through laughter and play. Y'all know I'm from Louisiana, so don't, don't, don't do that. Don't do that. I'm from Dallas. Dallas, Texas. Don't do that. Y'all know I can't pronounce that, everybody, right? All right. The affirmation for this card. The way affirmations works. You have to say affirmations three times in order to activate them in order for them to work. So, me being the awesome queen that I am. <laughs> Y'all know I'm goofy. I'm goofy. Being the awesome queen that I am, I would say them three times for you. You can say them with me, after me, write it down, anything. You can say it any time you want to. But I will activate them and send it your way with all this positive energy, with this good aura that's going on. You know what I'm saying? Let's go. All right. I am joyous and open to fun. I allow my inner child to express yourself, express itself. I am free to enjoy the present. The world is a wondrous place. Let's say it again. Stop. I am joyous and open to fun. That's my dog. I allow my inner child to express 
itself. I am free to enjoy the, the present. I'm sorry if I say present. The present. The world is a wondrous place. I am joyous and open to fun. I allow my inner child to express itself. I am free to enjoy the present. The world is a wondrous place. All right. That's what I'm talking about. Precious gems. All right. We are going to go with Garnet. And that is number 14. Okay. Gurnick represents zodiac sign Aries, Leo, and Virgo, and the element of fire. Mm -hmm. The vibrant energy of this card will bring you vulgar and passion. This card is practical. Can you see? Oh, okay. It's practically useful to those who need to own their gifts so they can reach and share their full potential with the world. It also signifies prosperity, wealth, and fame. All relationships will benefit from this exquisite gem. Hmm. I got it. Matter of fact, she already on me. <laughs> hey, she already on me, babe. Don't play with her. Don't play with her. All right. Wholehearted commitment. Wholehearted commitment to projects and relationships. The rekindling of deepening. Deepening of a romance, a desire for physical movement, or to take a more hands-on approach. Get into it. Get into it. You heard what she said. You heard what she just told us. Mm. Let's say this affirmation. So we need to get this pumping through all of this here. Every month, every day, every day, every day, almost, but I did. Every day. So. My passions are energized and and realized. I we had this before, matter of fact. I acknowledge my gifts and share them with others. I know my potential. I am fired up and ready to take on anything I wish. Ain't nobody stopping you but you. You heard him. Say that affirmation again. Stop playing with me. Say it again. E. My passions are energized and realized. I acknowledge my gifts and share them with others. That's what I'm doing right now with you guys. I know my potential. I am fired up and ready to take on anything I wish. What I tell y'all? What I tell y'all? What I tell y'all about that? Everything is already in existence, baby. The only thing you have to do is call it to you. Let's say it one more time. Let's call it to us, babe. My passions are energized and realized. I acknowledge my gifts and share them with others. I know my potential. I am fired up and ready to take on anything I wish. Mm -hmm. Transformation, baby. Number 19. Number 19. Number 19. <laughs> I love y'all. Y'all put up with all my goofiness. Like, seriously. Y'all put up with all of this goofiness. All right. Zodiac signs. Capricorn and Scorpio. And the element of Earth. Helps our spirit to revolve as it guides us to our true path. It is also a protection stone. 
I have that. I, this is, this is, this one is on the website. I know that for sure. This one is on the website. Because it's a, it's, it's a pendant for your necklace, just like mine. Uh, what was I? The banded circles can look like eyes that see and warn off danger. Keeping a few pieces of malachite, yeah, that's right, in and around your homes help maintain a bright and positive atmosphere. Be resourceful. A mundane skill can become a great asset. Bring out the best of what you of what you have at hand. Dust off the old and make it new. Personal transformation inside and out. Hey, hey! I told you that hobby, that that thing you've been working on at night, of or, or whenever you get time to work out, when the kids go to sleep and you get time to work on it. That's what they're talking about. They're telling you to bring that into for Richard, bring it into the materialistic world. It's gonna work. And it's gonna pan out. I promise you. Look at me. I got up and left Dallas, Texas with nothing but one suitcase and my animals. My two dogs and my cat. And my nephew. And got to Atlanta. Had nothing. I knew no I knew no one. No family or anything. I went on spirits because they said new beginnings. You have to get rid of all to make way for the new. And look at me, y'all. I wouldn't think in a million years I would be doing this when I was still in Dallas, Texas. Look how far I have come. And I choose to let my gifts be known to the world and let the world know, us as humanity, that you can be doing the same thing for your own self. And I am a healer. Literally, not figuratively, literally. Okay. I am ready for transformation. My life, my life force is stimulated. I have strength and courage. I am drawn to the right path. Hey, let's do it. Enthusiasm, baby. We got this. Yeah, right. We got it. All right. I am ready. I am ready to transform. My life force is stimulated. I have strength and courage. I am drawn to the right path. Okay, then, one more time. I am ready to transform. My life force is stimulated. I have strength and courage. I am drawn to the right path. All right, y'all. That is it for our precious gem. Those are our stones of the day. All right, I am actually going to pull one card for our energy of the day. This is the energy that we need to be, to be, you know, this is the energy that we are pulling as a humanity on this awesome blue planet. So, let's see what they got for us. Ooh. Well, I didn't have to go far, did I? Didn't have to go far. Hey, we got the sun card. Look at there, y'all. Look at that. Look what we got. Look, at, look, look. Look at the key. Look, look, look. Look, look at the sun. Look. Look at the baby. Look at the birds. Look at the fish. Look, look, look at the trumpet. Like, like, and the butterfly right here on the side. Right here. This is the sun. It's our time, baby. Look, 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 look. We got happy family. Look at there. Look. We good. We good. What I'm doing, I'm good. I am so good. And I am doing what I'm supposed to do. I am doing my calling. And in a minute, I'm going to be singing. But it's going to be chance that I have remembered from my past life. Just stay tuned. Yes. And this is the number four. This is the number one, baby. And this is the number 22. So for your dragon tribe. 
Number 22. Ying and yang, baby. Ying yang in this thing. No, but seriously, ying yang. It's our time, y'all. Now let's look up the meaning of our cards. Number one. All right. And these are in the, all of them came out in the upright, actually. Yeah, they did. They did. They did. Because they came out together. Okay. The sun, new beginnings, and great creativity. Didn't we just say that in the other day? Didn't, didn't they just say that with the stones? Didn't they say that with the stones? You better listen. I'm listening. Because <laughs> I'm part of humanity too, baby. So I'm, I'm in this. We got this. We got this. New beginnings. Sun card. Stop playing with us. We got this. Sun card. Hmm. What you talking about? Who said what? Say what? Ah, sun card right there. You can't even make that up. Can't make that up, baby. Sun card in the upright. Sun card means new beginning and great creativity. The sun card brings blessings to the earth. And this card... This card brings blessings in your... In your own life as well. Just as the sun nurtures the earth, brings new life in the spring and summer, then your time for a new beginning, the onset of a nurturing new light in your life. The light of divine inspiration and personal growth. Yeah, that's us. And personal growth, baby. This card are often marks a time of great creativity, bringing the commission. Okay, of an important new project, such as the birth of a baby, or or the writing or publication of a book. Or even the birth of a new you. I told you. <laughs> now is the time to put your energy into expressing your truth and vision. Visualize the light of divine love pouring into your heart and mind like the rays of the sun. Bringing inspiration, growth, and abundant blessings. See the future you want to create. And know the sun is shining on your intentions now. <laughs> I told y'all. Oh, and in all of these cards, y'all, what I tell y'all, all of them, spirit is in it. Look, light around the sun. Well, the sun is the light, you know, it's the, it is it itself. And look at the, 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 the light back there. Look at the light. Look at, it's all shining. Look at the light around the yin-yang. All right, so we're going to go to, I think, family. Family came next. Energy for today. Family. Number four. And that came up in the upright. These, this deck right here, energy, it can be read in the reverse and upright. So, let that be known. All right, four. Happy family. The rainbow over the happy family. Potends a time of joy and celebration. Close connections are available, so don't overlook the fun, the fun that a friend or family, the fun or family ex experience can bring. The value that you find in a truly loving relative or friend brings a higher vibration to your life force. You may be distracted or busy, but remember to put this part of your life in the forefront of your priorities. If you're single, finding this card is your spread could indicate a potential meeting or perhaps relationship with someone who has children from a previous marriage. 
This ready-made family might bring some challenges, but it could be your destiny in this lifetime. This card may also simply signify a celebration coming up, such as a wedding, an anniversary, or a party. Enjoy. It's your time, baby. If you are single, you heard what they say. You heard them. Don't play. You heard that. You heard what they say. You heard what she said. You heard what Mother Earth said. You heard what she said. So that is for the family, and that is number four. And we got yin yang. Yin yang, you know, masculine and feminine side, your dark and shadow side, however you want to put it, it's the same thing, baby. All right, that is number 22. All right. This card represents energetic life cycles, and its purpose is to help you identify the particular cycle energies moving into moving into or out of your experience and it's upright position it hurls and yin cycle yeah a yin cycle where most of the attention seems to be happening under the surface of things this is a time of great receptivity Intuition and gustousness. Yeah, I said that right. External circumstances stances may be forcing you to go within and examine present activities. It's an especially good time for completion. So wrap things up. Yin cycle cycles often call you to be passive, yielding, and reflective. So open up to these sides of your nature. Being more than acting is the intentions here. All right. Those are our energy cards. And we are going to get a card from our ancestors. This is the Angels and Ancestors cards. So we will get basically our totem animals and all that good stuff. We will get messages. See? Star Ancestor. So we will get messages from where we're supposed to get messages from at this moment, you guys. You know, our ancestors, what they got to say to us, what messages they got. Oh, oh, they're going. We got it already. Oh, we got two. White witch, be the light. Be the light. Seer, see beyond the current situation. You see that? It looks like a, okay, yeah, it's the pixel. Yep, and it's a butterfly in her hair. Okay, that's the owl. Okay, okay. And we have seer. See beyond the current situation. Mm hmm Because your eyes, some, some, something you're not seeing. Something you're not seeing for what it actually really is. Oh, the book. We are going to see. Let's see. All right. White witch, be the light. The meaning of this card, take a higher role and choose the light. Remove yourself from lower energy experiences. I bet your vibration is raising. So you cannot conduct and move yourself within them same frequency, within them same people. Because you don't vibrate on that same frequency, baby. So that's why you are not on that same level with them people that you grew up with or with family members. It's just what that is. Tell them to get on your level, baby. Get on your level. Get on your level. Yeah, yeah. I get on our level, baby. Come over we at. We ain't going back down there. We on another dimension. You hear me? We on another frequency, baby. Ew. All right. 
The white witch card represents the madam, the madam, mad, the madden, I guess. I can't, you know, I can't pronounce these words, right? Aspect of the triple goddess of pangenin, a pangism. Pag. Anism, paganism, and modern wick. The Madain is a gentle, innocent, and pure aspect of the goddess. A loving soul who wants nothing but the best for the whole world. That's me. Oh my God, it's talking about me and you and you and you. <laughs> Okay, here she is joined by a honored owl, showing that she is willing to respect those who were, who, to respect those with more wisdom and experience than she has. But she is also willing to trust what she feels to be right within. With this card, you are being reminded of the goodness of the goodness within mm -hmm. sure am and will it yeah we I'm having a good time in this time we always go over hour okay seer seer bam seer the meaning is the message Look beyond your current situation. Raise your vibration and focus on love. Mm -hmm. About. Most indigenous people have a seer in their family or tribe. Seers are the intelligent and intuitive being who serve as a direct channels for, for information from, for, for information of who, of what's occurring now and what's about to unfold. That's me. I've been telling y'all stuff for like three years now. And everything that I've told y'all has came into fruition. I'm your seer. I'm your guider. I'm the reason why we are here at this moment, at this time together. Your vortex is strong and so is mine's. Thank you for bringing me into your soul tribe. Thank you. I feel so honored. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Bam. Their energy isn't about predicting your future for you, but about showing you how your intentions are creating it. A true seer will help you see that your intentions can change. Therefore, so can your future. The message of this card is to let the clairvoyant within you rise up so that you can see the way forward yourself and your spiritual eyes. With your spiritual eyes. I told you. All this stuff that I'm seeing now that I have not seen with these eyes in Never in my life, but all these video, and I'm about to post another video of me seeing what I've seen last night in the air. We are going to pull a wisdom card. This is going to be um, a message from spirits that lets you know what you need to be doing to make this day better with every, whatever situation it may be. This is the card that is going to make our day better. And it's just the knowledge and basically a clue on how to deal with the day. Here and now, number 32, you got, are you going to keep going to the past or are we going to the future? Are we rising above BS or are we going to stay with it? Because you have to change the way you, you can't change people. Let, let's just get, get that understood. You cannot change people, Okay. But you can change the way you deal with them. So when you change the way you deal with them, they have no reason to change. You see? They have no... Say, 
they have no reason but to change. Because in order to come with you and deal with you, they have to do something different. So it's, it's you by yourself. So we're going to see what this card means. Yes, indeed. We got love in it. That's a child. That's a child sitting on that egg. And that's a face on the egg. Okay. And it says you are here on the uh, flag right here, y'all. Can y'all see that? I'm going to give me another. I'm going to give me a better, a better camera. It's, it's the iPhone. I'm going to give me a better one, y'all. All right. Let's see the meaning of her. Okay. Number 32. All right. Being fully present in the moment. Living one day at a time. The Oracle message. Everything happened. Everything happens in the now. In the present. Only this moment counts. You have what it takes to handle anything today. If you let go of the need to look into the future or reflect on the past. Be present and notice what is going on right now. And I've been showing y'all what's going on right now in our faces. But a lot of people are too caught up in the, 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 the news and the mirage that they're putting on for us. And they're not seeing what's going on in our skies. Get you a night vision. Anything that got night vision on it, it don't matter. Because even my, my telescope even has night vision on it. You know? So, you need to get that. Yeah, that's it right there. So, yes, we need to get that. We need to expand our minds. We need to expand our horizons. We need to know what's going on around us at all times. Okay. The very moment has a potential for you to create miracles in your life. All right, y'all. And we are going to pull one Muse card. Just because I want to. We're just going to pull one Muse card. We're going to see what they got for us today. What they got to say to us today. About our emotions. About our feelings right now. Because I know we all over the place. All of us are. But it all comes down to the energy and the frequency of this earth. Oh, they must don't got nothing for us, y'all. When they don't stop nothing now, baby, I don't force it. And that means spirit has nothing for us. That means we're doing what we're supposed to be doing. As far as our energy-wise, as far as our frequency as a whole, as humanity. So, y'all see that? We good. Whoop, we got one. Oh, we already got this yesterday. We got that. No need to read that over. So, hey. Thank you, y'all, for taking time out to watch today. And I love you guys. Love, peace, forgiveness, of course, and light. I love you and continue to be awesome. Continue to be spectacular. Continue to let your creativity pour into this awesome humans you know what i'm trying to say world you guys like take heed to what's going on take heed to your the signs that are around you double numbers sequential numbers like like take heed you know i love you Ugh, i love y'all y'all be good and stay awesome and please stay positive and stop don't give your energy to nobody just stay positive love you See you later.